What is happening guys? Welcome back. So, as you can see by the thumbnail and title of the video, we're going to get on with getting rid of these dented and damaged barn doors and we're going to fit this tailgate. So the tailgate conversion on a T5 isn't actually as bad as you may think. From factory, barn door vans have got the holes in for the hinges and the hole in for the wiring to go through. You just have to add a couple of little bits further down. And luckily, you can buy a conversion kit. Now, I did this on my first T5, which was five, six so years ago. Um, I don't know if it's the same people, but the kit looks pretty much the same. So you get this bracket here. I've painted these in body colour just so they match a bit more. This one bolts on to where the check strap is on your doors. And then the little one in the side, you put a rivet in the body. And that mounts the lower point for the struts for the tailgate. You also then get these little plates here, which are the plates that cover where the hinges go um, up above the door. So when you take this hinge off, it will go on there and cover that one. The bottom one is covered by these rear lower corners. Um, so we're not going to worry about those bits. Um, and then we've just got to adapt all of the wiring so that it works. So we've got to get the high level brake light working. We need to get the number plate lights working and the central locking. Wiper, we're not bothered about, there's no, nothing on the stalks or anything, so we're going to get rid of the rear wiper and we're going to put a new window in there because I don't really like the heater lines because we don't really need a heated rear window. Luckily, we managed to get a tailgate that is the exact same colour as the van. Massive thank you to Popple, I can't remember the rest of his handle, on Instagram for selling me this. Go check him out, he builds some pretty cool vans, there's a lot of facelifting. This has came off because he's put a T6 tailgate or T6.1 onto the band that he is currently building. There are a few rust spots around the window opening, um, but generally the rest of it isn't in too bad of a condition and I'm not even going to worry about the rust for now. Um, kind of in keeps with the rest of the van. We'll worry about the rust next year when we're going to inevitably end up painting the outside of the van anyway. Um, I just want to get this van done so that we can use it and we're sort of having, I've had a few people say, why are you building it so quickly and trying to push through it? I want to get it built because myself and Abigail haven't had a holiday since pre-COVID and we just, we need a break. We need to get away. We need, I need, as much as I love doing this job and YouTubing, I need a bit, a week of just sitting by a beach and doing absolutely nothing. So we're pushing to try and get this van done so we can get away in it early next year. So let's not mess around anymore. Let's make a start on getting these barn doors off the back of this van. So the doors are off nice and easy. Three bolts at the top, three bolts at the bottom once you've got the wiring out and they come off. Um, I have painted this area here in the same body colour because the hinge comes round to sort of this edge here and here there's no paint. So I've just painted that one and I've painted that one, primed, paint and lacquered them. We're not worrying too much because this is all going to have to come apart next year for when we paint the whole van anyway. So is isn't a major issue if they're not perfect. What I've just made a start on now and try and remember how to do is we need to move. You've got normally got a latch here and a latch here. We need to move the latch into the middle. And underneath this, you can see that there, there's a plate which has got the thread in, which holds it in place. Now, there isn't one in the middle. So what we've got to do is we've got to try and fish this across. Um, and there's like a retaining loop in here that holds it in place. So you've got to, I think from memory, I can't really remember, you knock this down um, to pull um, that bit of metal out of the way and then you sort of fish it over with um, a bit of wire put a bolt in it and then put a bolt through the latch and then yeah anyway let's make a start and try we'll carry on with this and try and get this over there
And there we go. Striker plate has been moved over. Now, hopefully, watching what I did made sense. So, I got a piece of welding wire, a little like this, tied a knot in one end. And when the this bit here, you can see, was still captive on this one, we put the non-folded end through there and then pulled that end up through one of these two holes, meaning that the knot was this side of the piece. We then went in with um, a, a chisel and um, a hammer. And you see this is rocking. It rocks side to side. So it's like a cradle under here that holds it captive. So basically making sure that that was, we couldn't lose the piece inside the van. This was, it would never fall off this piece. We then got a chisel on in there, making sure we weren't gonna damage the threads and hammer, 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 hammer until you basically break the strap and that piece in between comes free. You then pull your piece of welding wire up and that will bring it up um, so that it's in somewhere near the right place. I then got a pick tool and put that into the hole, which could then put in, turn and grip. And they can then turn the piece around, put one of the bolts in just to hold it in roughly in position. Um, I had to go back in and tap the holes um, a little bit because I'd managed to damage the threads. Tap the holes, then put the latch on with one bolt in loosely, turn it with the bolt, put the other bolt in. It's on, but it just needs setting. So that is the most difficult part, I think, of doing this. But that bit is now done. It wasn't as difficult as I remember. Now, I do. Th I think that you can take the bumper off and there is a form of access in. But I really can't bother to take the bumper off. I did it that way the last time, so I figured let's try and do it that way again. So what we're going to do now, I think, is get the hinges mounted to the tailgate and the hinges then get the tailgate mounted to the van. So the tailgate I got came without any hinges on uh, because the guy left the hinges on the van uh, because they were a bit of a pain. So this is the side that goes into the van. You've got this super long um, rods on it, which need a really deep socky foot, which I've not got. Um, and I think this is for when you put it in the van um, so you don't lose the bolt down the void or anything like that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to just cut these down a bit so that we uh, sockets we've got are gonna reach and we then need to bolt them on to the tailgate themselves. So I need to find some bolts for bolting it to the tailgate. Uh, I've been and found some nuts because we didn't have any nuts for it either. But first thing I need to do, I believe, is make a spreader plate for the back of these for when they bolt onto the van, it spreads the load of it because um, I've not got any. So I've made some spreader plates. I'll show you them in a minute. Hinges are getting bolted on now. As I mentioned a minute ago, I've cut this one down um, so that we can get a normal deep socket on it. Um, and hopefully we won't go losing any fixings inside the van. Um, but I'll cut the other ones down, get these fixed to the tailgate. And I think we can possibly offer it on, which is going to be very, very interesting doing it on my own because Rich has gone home. Abigail's busy. I've got no one else that can help me. So the spreader plates that I've made are these, which are painted in body colour. I've got two of the spreader plates. So the hinge goes through. Um, and then this is obviously inside the van, if you like, and um, just help spread the load a little bit. So I'll get the other bits cut and then we'll attempt to get this tailgate on. Tailgate is prepped, hinges are on there. Um, need to get the grommets. The grommets are out that side, we need to take the grommets out this side. We've got spacers, a magnet, the fixings, a socket, um, the extension should be somewhere, we'll put that on that as well. Right, GoPro is there. I've got a wheel on the floor and a piece of wood that I'm hoping to wedge in the number plate recess, put against the wheel. And hopefully the tailgate won't fall off the van. Um, we can only give it a go. We can only give it a go. So let's have a go. Annoyingly, that didn't record me putting the tailgate on, but we lifted it up. We've used some bits of nine mil ply at the bottom for a packer because the bumper compresses anyway. I think the gap's supposed to be seven mil. We've got a bit of wood up there, down to there. Um, it's about in the right place, I think. It might need a bit of a fine adjustment, but I've got one fixing up here, so let's get the other side done. So hopefully the handle works.
It's on, so what we're gonna do now is put the tailgate up and then we'll find a bit of wood or something to hold it up. And we should get the plates on that I should have put on at the beginning for all the struts and everything. So the next bit that we need to get on with is mounting these plates on here that are painted in body colour. So these are the plates that will pick up the bottle, now create the bottom point for the tailgate struts. Um, that, that, and that go into that, that, and that, which are the original holes. All you've got to do is drill another hole in there and you insert another rivet nut um, so that the ball mounts to the van which is then the pickup for that. So we've done this side. I've also put some sealant around the back of it to seal it for water. So let's go on and sort this side out. So that's that other plate on now and the ball in for the struts. So let's clip that on. Oh. There you go. That's clipped on. And we've now fitted the ball to the tailgate. So we'll switch to the GoPro, get rid of this stay, and see if it holds itself up. Good guy. Yeah. Tailgate on, open and close it. We've got the Transport HQ uprated 1,250 newton meter um, stays for the tailgate because we might have a nice little something something going on the bottom of the tailgate but more on that in a future episode so we've got those bits on done tailgate goes up does what it needs to do um i need to work out now and try and get my head around these electrics and what is going on because i don't know i don't know hopefully being similar year vehicles it's an 06 and 08, so sort of the similar. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be too difficult. Right, I'll work that out and I'll let you know what we've come up with when we work the electrics out. So, the wiring on that tailgate wasn't actually as difficult as I thought it might be. Um, so, let me explain a little bit about what I've done because we have had to extend pretty much all of the loom that goes into the tailgate. So, we're on the passenger side of the van um, in the D pillar, if you like. You've got this plug here, which is the plug with the loom in that would have gone out to the barn doors that would have come out through this hole. So basically what I did was fish that loom back through sort of into this area. So once you've got the loom in the van just there, you need to get it up this pillar. Now the way that I did it, if I can find them, oh, I've got some of these little rods, which are like electricians, um, what are they called? 10 piece 330 mil cable access kit um, and basically they screw together and you can make the rods as long as you need to we put them through this hole and forced them down and it came in to sort of this area here forced my hand round, pulled it round cable um taped a piece of wire to it and pulled that through so we've got a pull through in then tied those wires 
bit we needed to get up to the pull through. We pulled it up, saw how long everything was and saw what needed to be extended, pulled it back, and then we cut the plugs off of the parts that we need to extend. So there's a plug here that goes to the lock. Um, there's a plug on the uh, catch as well, which is for telling you when the door's open or closed. You've got the um, number plate light just there. We've ran a power cable and the video feed for the reversing camera that's going to be going in the tailgate. And you also have to run the loom for the high level brake light. So I split the loom and took all of the tape off of it, the fabric loom tape off the whole loom um, because we want things to spur off at different points. The wire for the high level brake light is miles too long. So you don't need to extend that. You just need to branch it off at a different place in the loom. Um, we have extended the one for um, the uh, lock, the latch locking mechanism, because wherever it's gone, the plugs were totally different. So I've not done this with any wiring diagrams or anything. What I've basically done is the loom that was on the van and then the door that was on the van. We've worked out where each plug goes and labelled each up to work out what it was. We've then looked at the tailgate and worked out what was what. All the wires, colours matched. It just got different plugs on. So all I've done is cut the plugs off and used some through crimps, just through crimps, to uh, join all the wires and um, extended them. So we've extended that latch one. We've extended the catch one. Um, we extended the number plate light one, um, but then the high level brake light one was fine. So there isn't actually a massive amount to do. I didn't film any of it because I don't really know why I was just in the zone. So we're not worried about the wiper motor because we're going to be deleting that anyway. And we're not worried about the heated rear window because again, we're going to be deleting that anyway because of the new glass panel that is going to be going in, not having it. So that is pretty much all you need to do. I have had a quick go already and everything does work. That's my phone dodgily lent on something. So if we turn the ignition on. So I'd like, should I have number plate lights? Brake lights. So the lights that we needed to work are working, which was just the high level brake light and the number plate lights. Then if we come round and lock the van, you can't open it. And if you unlock the van, you can open it. So everything that needs to work in the tailgate is now working. Um, yeah, that's the wiring dealt with. Now on this side, you've got these lower panels just here, which fix to the van via a panel. So you've got this panel here, which has got some little locating lugs, or it did have, yeah, there's a little locating lug at the bottom that locates into the bumper like that. And then there's a hole there, a hole there, a hole there, and a hole there. We, we've obviously not got the fixings for, so what we'll do is you can either tech screw it on or drill it and put a um, rivnet in to bolt those pieces on. But all I've done with that side is clip these two parts together and then put the light on without any fixings in. And it is absolutely solid and can't move or go anywhere. So we'll do the same to this side because this side is going to be the side that we're going to have one of Transport HQ's hinged doors on for the 240 volt electric feed into the van. Um, so we'll get that all thrown on and back together and then we'll screw these little plates on and we're about there with the tailgate. And there we go. Tailgate conversion is done. It goes up, it goes down, the lights work, the central locking works. What more? could you ask for so i imagine after this i'll get a lot of questions saying i've got a van from this year i've got a target from this year what do i do how do i sort the wiring out it really depends van by van so the earlier ones are the preface lift are nice and simple as is done t5.1 so 2010 onwards i believe you have to put a resistor of some sort in the central locking i think otherwise the central locking just has a bit of a a fit and doesn't like what you're doing with it. And then the T6, T6.1, I haven't got a clue. T5 onwards are all canvas, so they are a lot more involved than the preface the ones are. It's literally extension wires, plug some wires in, 
and that's it. But it's done, it's on. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. It has made such a transformation of the van and it looks so much better. You get rid of the big ugly hinges. Obviously we've got rid of all the dents and everything off them doors. I'm so happy with it. It's, uh, yeah, it makes such a difference. And uh, I imagine people are gonna say, cause it's so low, what's it like standing under it? So that's the tailgate up to its height. I'm six foot and I can stand under, under that. You might have to watch these bits, but this bit, absolutely fine, absolutely sound. Yeah. What a transformation. Well worth spending the time doing. So, hopefully you've enjoyed that one then, guys. The next one we're going to be getting on with installing the audio equipment. I've got to get a few bits sorted on that, and then I'm heading straight down there for this evening, and we'll get all of that installed into the van. So, hopefully you've enjoyed it, guys. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.